Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Cox. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Awesome. I'm doing great. Top of the world, cloud nine, kicking in the dick, everybody. I lost 40 pounds last year. That it used to be 50. Yes. It's be a lot better. It's a weird reaction to get from people, because losing weight is a selfish, disgusting act. It's just weird to get like a, a positive reaction to that, because no matter what anybody says, nobody ever loses weight to be healthier or lead a more active lifestyle. Um, it's just because sex wasn't happening. <laughs> You're like, wow, I can't believe you lost so much weight. All I hear is, wow, you were horny enough to starve yourself? <laughs> yeah, that does sound desperate. <laughs> People must not like your personality. <laughs> that joke hurts. <laughs> I've never had much success with the, with the ladies. Um, I think for me it's the approach. Because to me, an attractive girl is as long as the coffee grinder at the grocery store. I don't know how it's gonna make a fool out of me, <laughs> but I know when it does, it's gonna be loud and people are gonna stare. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I always do the online dating. Uh, Cause their rejection doesn't come with eye contact. <laughs> I prefer it that way. <laughs> when you do online dating, you have to watch out though, because when you do online dating, you have to go on first dates with people that you met online. <laughs> Don't do that. It's terrible. <laughs> it's always like seeing the movie after you already read the book. You're like, oh, in my head, that character had more teeth. <laughs> One time I went on a first date with a 19 year old, uh, so she had opinions. <laughs> I thought I'd be fine. Match.com said we were an 85% match. Uh, it just didn't tell me the other 15% was vegetarianism <laughs> and way too much knowledge of the zodiac. <laughs> She told me she was a cancer, which made sense, because she was slowly and painfully killing the conversation. <laughs> she asked me what I was, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever didn't go with cancer. Uh, <laughs> a prostate, I guess. <laughs> I got a girlfriend now, uh, it's kind of cool. Um, last week, she got mad at me because uh, I answered a hypothetical question wrong. <laughs> we were hanging out, we, were, we, were, we went out, and uh, we're sitting around, and um, it was one of those ridiculous scenario questions. You know, we're at the bar, and she finds like the hottest girl there, and she like points her out to me, and then she comes up with this weird situation where I'm not with her, I'm with this hot girl over here, and what if I never knew her, and in this situation, would I have forgotten that girl's birthday? <laughs> Bullshit, right? <laughs> I tried to make it up to her. I tried to cook her dinner. Nice thing, right? I'm not a bad cook, but sometimes I cook out of my league. I decided to make her oysters. I, I don't know how to cook those. <laughs> I picked oysters because they're fancy. And they were on manager special. <laughs> Plus, I heard they're a natural aphrodisiac. <laughs> Roofies of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> it works. I know how to cook oysters, so I had to Google it. Uh, first step in cooking oysters, you gotta shuck them. Shucking oysters means that you stab a rock with a butter knife and nothing happens. <laughs> so we ditched Google, went about it Josh Cox's way. <laughs> Shove them in the oven. That's where things go to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I'm an American hero because it turns out these oysters were terrorists. <laughs> Some bitches started suicide bombing my oven. <laughs> living room all of a sudden I hear, bang, bang, bang! <laughs> <laughs> My oldest 
about I'm like panicking because like she's pissed at me and I'm trying to make her happy, but I'm now scraping just muscle and shell out of the inside of my oven. <laughs> the only thing I had that I could like do was like a frozen pizza. So I just like shoved that in there really quick and she got there and I was like, surprise. <laughs> she wouldn't even eat it. I know, all that effort, wouldn't even eat it. <laughs> Said it smelled fishy. <laughs> See, that's bullshit. I've never gotten to use that excuse. <laughs> she hates that joke. <laughs> this week I'm gonna try and cook well. <laughs> uh, I don't like death, everybody. Death freaks me out. Not a big fan. I recently I had to take a life insurance exam for my job. I had to learn how to calculate up how much it costs to afford life insurance for a person, how much a person's worth. And that's weird information to have. It's weird information to know exactly how much your parents are worth to you. <laughs> Dead, that's, a, that's, that's important. I'm like, I never want anything bad to happen to my dad, but if it does, I hope it happens on a business trip. <laughs> that's a big multiplier. He, go, he goes down visiting Columbus, I can afford a monkey. <laughs> One of those cool monkeys that wears a little hat, not one of the crazy ones with these faces. Oh, cool monkey money. I hate death, I do. I don't like it at all. I won't go to funerals. If you're planning one, don't invite me. I'm not showing up. I'm not going to church on a Thursday. Are you kidding me? If I have a day off, I'm going to watch Jurassic Park and light things on fire. I won't go to funerals. I hate them. Uh, I uh, had to go to my grandpa's funeral. That sucked. Everybody was crying, telling stories about them where they left out the racist parts. <laughs> <laughs> we played that five for five fighting song, a uh, hundred years, you know, the 15 for a moment, that one. But we had to stop it early because grandpa was a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't 99 even for a moment. That's <laughs> not by a long shot. <laughs> Worst part about his funeral, though, is how expensive it was. His funeral cost $8,000. His casket cost $4,000. That might not sound like a lot of money to you. That's because it wasn't part of your inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> and then they had the audacity to make me one of the pallbearers. I had to carry my own money <laughs> through the rain <laughs> and throw it in the ground. <laughs> and I was an asshole for selling his Oxycontin on the school bus. <laughs> Guys, I'm Josh Cox. Thanks so much for coming out.